Hello, welcome back to Too Many Handhelds. Uh, friends, I have something great for you today. This is one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. Um, a long time ago, I remember seeing these in an FYE, um, which is like a four-year entertainment. It's like a gaming, music, video store kind of place in Chicago. And I never picked it up. And there are a bunch of these online selling for $50. But this is incredible. This is the Yobo Gameware 3.5 inch LCD handheld. 16-bit SNES compatible game console, also known as the F16 Go. This is basically a Nintendo DS that plays Super Nintendo cartridges. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Let's take a look at the back here. Alright, so it does not have HDMI, it just has this little like, composite out kind of thing. Um, it has two wireless controllers. Um, I've only put batteries in one, so we won't be doing any two-player action here today. But it is nice that they're included, um, so you can actually consoleize this. Uh, it came with terrible earbuds, so that's whatever. But yeah, basically, you can use this as a handheld to play Super Nintendo games, kind of like a Superboy or uh, that Retro Duo that we took a look at a while back. Or you can consoleize it like this, uh, you know, attach it to a screen, pair the controller, and then you know, play it like a console. So I think this is if you are a retro collector and you have kids and you're going on a car trip. This might be great for them in the back seat for that long car trip, just to have Super Nintendo games they could play. But enough about the box, let's look at the system. Alright. Check this thing out. So it's very glossy. Uh, the front, you have two LEDs that show whether the controllers are paired. Annoyingly, if you play it in handheld mode, they just blink nonstop. Um, you have an AV out, which is also the headphone port. So if you do connect it to a TV, that's where the cable goes in. Otherwise, it's where your headphones will go in. On the side here, you have volume. And then you have power to make uh, the handheld mode work. Or a TV. You can't do both, obviously. I mean, it just kind of routes where uh, the, the signal goes out to. You have RNL on the sides, and then you have a cartridge slot. Uh, if you notice in the cartridge slot... Let's see, I don't know if I can get it there. Right over here on this side, there's that little plastic tab, so it's region locked. That's the only region locking a Super Nintendo has. I don't know if you know this or not, but inside the cartridge slot, there's a plastic tab on that side and on that side, and that will prevent you from playing Super Famicom games. But if you clip those out, it should work. Um, I'm not condoning or, you know, saying you shouldn't do that, but, you know, use your own discretion. But I left mine in. Let's take a look at this. Oh my goodness. Now, I've left the plastic on up here. Let me adjust this out a bit. It's a big one. I'm not used to playing handhelds this big on this channel. You have stereo speakers, a reset button, select start. D-pad is a little stiff, but pretty good. Um, face buttons are pretty good. And overall, this feels a lot more comfortable than I would have expected it to. Um, I also have very big hands, so that just kind of works out well. But it really feels comfortable to hold. All right, here we go. And the screen on here, not bad. Like, I was expecting it to be awful, but the colors are pretty good. It is kind of blurry, but that also gives it kind of a CRT feel. Um, there are no ways to adjust the brightness or um, the contrast or anything like that. The screen is the screen. And this is a Super FX chip game, so that's working. You will notice here, those are blinking nonstop. I can also put it like this and then take out this controller. This is the controller that comes with it. It's kind of cheap, glossy plastic, but it does work pretty well. And now you can see I'm controlling the game with this controller. And now the left light is solid, the right light is blinking. So it's kind of showing player one is here. So let's see if I can zoom in on the screen here. All right, I'm also terrible at this game, so I don't know, man. Let's see how this goes. But it runs, and it runs really well. Um, I was kind of surprised. Like, pretty much everything I've thrown at this runs, and I've tried a lot of different games. The only ones I haven't again tried is F SFC uh, Super Famicom, because those tabs will physically prevent you from putting those cartridges in unless you cut the tabs. And then sort of unregion lock your system. Oh, 
Oh, man. Yeah, it's like a very low frame rate uh, racing game using the Super FX chip. So let's look at something else. Now I know what you're wondering. Will an EverDrive work in here? And the answer is yes, yes it will. So this is an EverDrive that has a lot of uh, Super Nintendo games in it. Um, I don't know why some of these are on there, like Super Star Fox. Star Fox won't work on here. It doesn't have an FX chip, but whatever. Um, let's see. Let's play something people are familiar with. Mario All Stars. That works. So I think I'll put it down here. I'll do the same thing. I'll zoom in on the screen. Maybe get it in frame a bit. Then try to get it in focus, which is always fun. There we go. Kind of. <laughs> it's also kind of a blurry screen, um, which is an issue. I mean, it's not bad um, in person, but it definitely does not translate to the camera well. But yeah, I mean, this works really, really well. And I was kind of surprised at how well it did work. Um, you know, I wasn't sure if this would work at all, honestly. I thought maybe the sound would be off, or it would have, like, really bad emulation. But, uh, no, it's it's pretty solid. Oh, you chain chomp. But it's actually a much better device than I thought it would be. Like, I, I really did expect it to have more flaws, but this is actually pretty much what they said it would be. And it was only $50, which I'm even more impressed with. Um, it is kind of large for a handheld. The battery life isn't great. It's not awful either. Like, I, I tend to get about three hours out of it, um, depending on what I'm playing and also, you know, whether I'm using an EverDrive, whether I'm using a controller. These all are factors. Um, I don't think the EverDrive really makes that big of a difference, though, honestly. Like, some systems, if you use a flash card, it drains them faster. This one, it doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. But uh, overall, yeah, really, really, really impressed with this thing. So, there you go. There's the cartridge sticking out so you can see that it is definitely in there. That's it. That is the FC-16 GO. All right, zoom out again. There we go. The FC-16 GO. Uh, portable DS Super Nintendo hybrid thing. I don't even know what to call this. It's, it's like what would happen if a DS and a Super Nintendo had a baby. This is their baby. Um, thank you for watching. Always remember to charge your handhelds, and I will see you next time.